Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Renard Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about comic books I've read, and the Kickstarters I've backed, where I got these comics, stuff like that. Um, so, first off, I am going to start off with a comic called Love University, number three. Let's see if I can get the glare off of it. There we go. Love University, number three, and it is by... Uh, Evolution Publishing and created by Allison Shaney Whitmore, story by Allison Shaney Whitmore, and art by Carole, Car Carola Barelli, and colors by Agnes Poza, lettered by Roberto Menga, and edited by Marcel Dupree. So, uh, yeah, this is, like I said, this has got some beautiful art in it. Love it. Uh, the coloring is amazing in this. And uh, so the story in uh, Love University number three here is that Lucy uh, goes off to college and uh, discovers that she's a Cupid. And uh, it, all this craziness she finds out in uh, in the life of a Cupid, what, what is expected of her, all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, so Lucy... And some other kids in her class, she's not the popular one, so uh, it takes her some time to, to find her group of friends. And uh, she has a lot of questions about this new life. And uh, one day in class, uh, she asks a professor about why there is a love ban on cupids, why they can't fall in love. And after class, this professor talks to her about um, sneaking into the dean's class. Dean's office and drinking a love potion potion. So she does that with the help of one friend uh, and uh, She gets caught by the Dean's son and uh, She drinks the potion anyway, right as he right as the Dean's son catches her and uh, So he's like, what are you doing? Did you just drink that? And He says if my dad finds out all this blood, whatever uh, so the story progresses that a bunch of boys on the campus are falling in love with her and uh She's upset about it because it, it doesn't seem real, and which obviously it's not, and so, uh, but this boy, the Dean's son, he asks her out to dinner, and they go out to dinner, and he slips her the antidote so that it wears off, but all hell breaks loose, and uh, you find out these other gods and stuff, they come to fight them, and because they can sense her power, and she's, her power is growing stronger, and uh, so then a fight breaks out, and then, yeah, so it, I don't know what's going on yet, I'll have to get the next issues, keep following along to see what's going on, and, uh, yeah, but I'm loving the story, it's great, uh, the art's great, the story's great, and it's pretty cool how it's progressing, and, uh, yeah, so this is just issue three, uh, issue four is actually on Kickstarter right now, I will talk about that when I get to the Kickstarter stuff. And so, yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, and it came with uh, some awesome prints, which will be going up on my wall of prints here. If I even have room. Oh, my gosh, I can't get it out. So here is one print. That's, oh, let's get the glare off of it. There we go. How, do, how does that look? And there's another print. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, this, this one has uh, Le Fay on it. That's pretty cool. That's another book I also back. So that's why I got that one, is if you back both books, you get the book with Le Fay and uh, Lucy from Love University on it. So that's pretty cool. Don't know when I'm going to be getting the next uh, Morgan Le Fay book, but that'll be cool. Um, and another thing I've also been reading is a, it's uh, digitally, and I'm not even sure where I found it. You have to just do a search for it. It's Nana to Karu. Uh, very interesting manga that I've been reading, um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. It's about, uh, kids that are in school in Japan, and, uh, Karu has always had an interest in S&M, and, uh, one day he, his neighbor friend comes over, uh, that's Nana, and, uh, she discovers that he's got this weird stuff in his room, and she... She put it on while he wasn't there, because he she was in his room waiting for him. His, the mom let him in, and uh, next thing you know, uh, 
they're tying each other, or she, he's tying her up all the time, and it, it's interesting. So anyway, yeah. Interesting story, I'm getting really into it, and uh, next up on my reading list is one called Starlight. This one came with this cool print. Check that one out. He's a weird cat alien looking thing. Got big old cat ears. Hairless cat or something. Oh, it came with some stickers too. This is one that I just barely got in the mailbox, but I had to read it now because there's a Kickstarter going for it right now. So there's a sticker of Starlight. That's the two main characters. There's a teeny tiny sticker. It says Overcast Comics. And then we got that one and that one. So, a bunch of stickers with that one. And a print. That will be going up on my wall also. And here's Starlight. I got two covers on this one. And uh, let's see. There we go. There's the glare. So Starlight issues three and three. Pretty cool stuff. So I read uh, Starlight here. Starlight is written by Travis Webb and Greg Smith. And they both signed it right there. That's pretty cool. So it's written by Travis Webb and Greg Smith. Artist by Brett Weld. Waddell. Sorry. Artist Brett Waddell. And lettered by Tom or Sedgwick. Or Sedgwick. Or Sikowski. There. Let's say it's Tom or Sikowski. If I'm wrong, uh, please give me a call and say, hey, buddy, you pronounced my name wrong. And edited by David Mayer. And cover B is by Lee Moyer. That would be this one, I think. Or is this? Oh. So this one's cover B. Cover B is by Lee Moore. Moyer. And, uh, all right. So, let's see what my notes say about this. So, this is one I did just barely get in my mailbox, but I bumped it up to, uh, to reading it now because the Kickstarter's going right now, and I figured it, it's a good time to talk about it while there's a Kickstarter going for it. And uh, the Kickstarter is running till October 18th. So this one, uh, yeah, the story is ramping up, and holy cow, the art ramped up too. Um, I think the art is getting better and better with every issue, and uh, as the uh, artist says in some behind-the-scenes pages, that uh, he recently started coloring on the Procreate on iPad, so that's pretty cool. It is, you can tell, it's definitely taking, making a notice on it that uh, that... So these aliens are awesome. There's some uh, weird cat ones that I showed you on that print. And there's these weird eight, uh, spider looking aliens. And they have this power to self spawn, multiply, whatever that is. Uh, these little teeny versions of them run out and try and attack, but they, uh, anyway. So our main characters, check out that page, that is beautiful. Uh, our main characters have escaped their holding cell on this alien spaceship. They got abducted on Earth, and uh, now they're just making their way through the ship, trying to figure out how to get off the ship. And uh, along the ways, they get attacked by these spider aliens, and uh, all that stuff. But they basically just chat with this reporter that it got abducted with them. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff. Loving it. Um, I just don't... Like, yeah, there, there was a lot of pages in it, 26, I think. But, uh, really, there's so much conversation in it that it, it's just amazing. I love it. Um, sometimes you don't need a bunch of crazy action and stuff to make a good story. Um, it could just be the three characters talking, and it was, an, it was an amazing book. I loved it. I was happy with it, and I can't wait to... Uh, get issue four, which I'm backing right now on Kickstarter. So that is that. All right. Um, yeah. So this is my first episode back really from, uh, from my long summer of taking off. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was pretty hard, difficult to, uh, to get the time to do this actually with as busy as things have been. I'm still working on that bathroom that has been, 
uh, taking all my time up all summer long and uh, crazy. So, but here's another book that I read. This one I read over the summer. Um, this is What They Don't Teach You in Art Class, in Art School, sorry. Uh, this is What They Don't Teach You in Art School by Will Terry. Um, I originally backed this one because uh, Will Terry, I noticed in his profile, is from Utah, and I'm from Utah, so support your fellow Utahns is what I think. And uh, to tell you the truth, I never went to art school, and uh, uh, it was not actually supported in my family. Um, in my family, art is can considered uh, something you do when you're lazy and uh, so it was frowned upon for me to even go to school for art anyway so yeah I didn't go to school for art or anything like that but I thought this book could teach me something anyway and so I read it and it does teach you some interesting things about getting an agent and building a portfolio stuff like that and uh, yeah it, it really really my opinion is you don't need art school to do what you're going to do. Uh, it would help to uh, teach me some ways of motivating myself with my ADD stuff and going on and it would be nice. But anyway, Will Terry did make it a good book. Had a lot of interesting things about setting up portfolios and uh, and how to get agents, what to do with your career later and there are a lot of interesting nuggets from uh, artists that are making it out there too, so pretty cool stuff. Um, Whoa, look at that room. Good stuff to read. And uh, so yeah, I will show you where you can get that later. Now, here is some stuff from my mailbox. This is Brent Narves mailbox. Doo pop pop boop. Brent Narves mailbox. So sounds like uh, grandpa's home um okay so yeah i still get netflix mails and uh looks like i'm gonna be watching some the secret origin of dc comics that's cool that's from my belt box and i also got sithra book six this is the end that's what it says on it it is black it has no cover on it like the other ones but it's cool very hardback a lot of good stuff this is from jason brubaker i love reading Sithra, so I can't wait to, uh, that's an invoice. Okay, so, Sithra, I finally got it, and I uh, completed my series. The, all the books are identical, same shape, and, um, yeah, I was told at Comic-Con, when I met the uh, colorist of this book, that, uh, they were going to discontinue it, because I think it's getting picked up by a publisher, stuff like that. And it got me an X belt from the 90s X-Men. That's cool. I love wearing it. Um, I got me a plain silver one to wear as my um, multiple man cosplay, so which I did for FanX. Then I also got this awesome Peter Pan shirt in the mail. Uh, oh, there it is. There's the camera. So this Peter Pan shirt, I got it basically just to save shipping. I don't really need other shirts, but it's pretty rare to even find a Peter Pan shirt in men's. So, I got that. It looks like the uh, Starry Night art. And I also got this big old beast. Oh man, this is beautiful. Adventure Man from uh, the Dodsons. Terry and Rachel Dodson. And Matt Fraction writing. Good stuff. I can't wait to read that one. It is huge. It clocks in at, uh, I think it was like a foot by nine. Huge book. Got some uh, spot gloss on it. That it looks makes it really pop out. Can't wait to put that in the read pile. Can't wait to read that. I also got in uh, Lady Lovecraft. This is from the Miskatonic High Peoples. So that's a good one. I can't wait to read. And I got Astounding Tales. Um, I got double the issues because uh, Astounding Tales 0 and 1. And I got double the issues because I have a friend that I go back things with every once in a while. And... Uh, so I'm going to be handing off a copy to him. Good stuff. Can't wait to read that. It's got kind of an uh, Astro Boy feel to it. Then I also got some uh, Vampire Bloodlines comics. These are awesome. Uh, so 
here we go, let's show them like that. So they have the drawn, they have a cosplay cover and a drawn cover. And uh, they look pretty cool. And then on the other side, cosplay and drawn cover of the same characters, different poses. So this is issue, I think we're up to issue three, yes. So yeah, I can't wait to read issue three. Whoa, some stuff's falling out. Temporary tattoos, I didn't even know that was in there. Oh, cool, cool. And it comes with some awesome prints that will be going up on my wall. So that is Vampire Bloodlines, number three from the mailbox. And then I also got, uh, got me some X-Men Days of Future Past, the Rogue Cut. And uh, there was a mix-up at the uh, Wally World when I ordered it, and somehow I got two. So I will be doing a giveaway. I'll probably be giving that one away. I got London Calling, and it has a sticker with it. You know how much I love the stickers to put on the uh, boxes of my comics? So, London Calling, it's an anthology about a shop and uh, called Deadbeats. And so yeah, can't wait to read that one also. Well, my pile's about to fall over. And Pilgrim's Dirge. Got this one in the mail. Backed it on Kickstarter. That's cool. Now, one for that didn't come in the mail is I got a book called Enigma. I remember seeing this one on Kickstarter, but I didn't back it at that time. But then I ran into them at uh, Salt Lake Comic Con Fan X and uh, decided to pick up all four issues there. Also came with a huge print. Check this out. Got to back up because it's so big. So, yeah, I met them at Fan X and decided to pick up all their books right there on the spot. And then also at Fan X, um, I ran into Peter David while I was cosplaying as Multiple Man and uh, got all, all these issues signed because they're my favorite issues with uh, Multiple Man on them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Multiple Man is my favorite character, so yeah, it's a real treat to get uh, to get Peter David to sign those while I was dressed up, so that's pretty cool. Okay, now on to the campaign corner. This is where I talk about comics that are on Kickstarter right now that you should know about, comics that I've backed, and uh, then I will post interesting note stuff about uh, where you can find those links to the Kickstarters, all that fun stuff. So yeah, life has been pretty crazy for me lately. And as you know from my social medias, I've been working on a bathroom, all that fun stuff. And I was recently at FanEx, like I just said. So bear with me as I uh, try and get these issues out. If you have a Kickstarter out that you want me to talk about, let me know. So Twisting Time Anthology. Oh, shoot. I think this one passed on me while I was making my notes. The Daring Exploits of... Vance Launchpad, number one, is on Kickstarter right now until October 8th. Uh, Time-displaced superhero Vance Launchpad must reunite with his estranged son to stop a citywide takeover by robotic gangs. Uh, it, it looked very cool, very um, Kirby-esque kind of ain't, uh, old comic book style, style to it. And uh, it's got heroes and robots and aliens. That's pretty cool stuff. 22 pages on Kickstarter until October 8th. Aftermath One Shot is on Kickstarter right now until October 12th. In the post-apocalyptic future, a future is in the hands of these human survivors and a new breed of mutants dubbed the Altered Ones. Uh, it didn't say how many pages. I have no idea how many pages this one is, but there is great art on the preview pages. That's what sold me, and that's why I'm back in Aftermath one shot on Kickstarter till October 12th. The Ancient Noise 5 and the Trade ba Paperback is on Kickstarter right now. The Ancient Noise number 5 is the final issue of Ancient Noise, as well as the Trade Paperback. They said do the Kickstarter in one of the complete miniseries. It's ready to print. There are 118 pages to this Trade Paperback. And issue 5 has 26 pages. So check out Ancient Noise on Kickstarter till October 15th. Starlight, which I just reviewed number 3. Starlight issue 4 is on Kickstarter right now. A raver superhero is trapped in space with her brother and a reporter. It is 24 pages of trans-dimensional spiders, wizards, 
uh, Space Pirate Cats, and Heroes. So check out Starlight on Kickstarter right now. 32-page comic. Ooh, that's awesome. From, uh, yeah, Brett Wild or Brett Waddell, who uh, co-created The Surrogates, which was a Bruce Willis movie. I loved it, and so that's pretty cool. It, the art does look awesome, so I love that. Uh, Starlight, issue four, is on Kickstarter right now until October 18th. You can get the whole collection, and I highly recommend doing that. Love University, that's the other book I reviewed. Love University, uh, classes in session. Lucy Barlock is a teen girl preparing for college and looking for love until she finds out that she is a Cupid. So you can get issue one through four. This, so I recommend that. It's drawn by Carola Borelli, who uh, is a favorite of mine. She does Destiny New York and The Deadliest Bouquet, which I backed, but I have not seen yet. It's still in, um, still being created. So. Check out Love University number four on Kickstarter until October 20th. Blighter, Tracker of the Realm. Uh, this is about a uh, tiger, anthropomorphic looking man tiger. And uh, he is a bad role model with the stripes to prove it. A Monstrous Adventure by Jeff Parker and Drew Moss. Jeff Parker is a person who, drew, who wrote X-Men First Class and Batman 66. And Drew Moss drew... Uh, Vampirella, Red Sonja, and Star Wars, The Crow, Army of the Dead, and uh, yeah. Uh, I remember a surfer comic that I bought a long time ago that Drew Moss drew. I can't remember what it is right now, but it's in my collection somewhere. So Lord Blighter is just a whisker away from being the villain of the story. This is a 90-page book. It's really cool. I'm so glad I can't wait to get this book. Um, so... Check out Blighter, Tracker of the Realm on Kickstarter until October 21st. Impossible Jones is back. Impossible Jones and Captain Lightning are teaming up. Impossible Jones... Will Impossible Jones steal an artifact Lightning has asked her to guard? Or will Section Zero uh, steal it? So Section Zero is another comic by the same team. And uh, it's one that I didn't back, so now uh, I am getting this Impossible Jones and the Section Zero trade added to my kickstarting back, so that'll be cool. I can't wait to read Section Zero. Um, it's kind of like a Fantastic Four, Lost in Space kind of story, so interesting. Impossible Jones 2B with the Captain Lightning team up is on Kickstarter until October 21st. Bad Nature's number one is on Kickstarter right now. Bad. Nature's number one is an action fantasy character drama, a 24-page comic book about a dysfunctional group of gods endangering themselves and the world around them. So check out Bad Nature's number one. There is a preview in the Kickstarter that you can check out. Awesome artwork in that one. On Kickstarter till October 27th. Mythmakers number two, a supernatural superhero comic book. Second issue of the suspenseful superhero comic book that tells about the formation of the superhero team called Myth Makers. It is 28 pages, is fully completed now, and ready to go. As soon as the Kickstarter is done, it will be made. So check out Kick Myth Makers on s number two on Kickstarter right now until October 29th. Cult Hero Stories. Uh, Cult Hero Stories is about a comic book about killing your heroes. That's what started it. So this is the digital. Rotten Edition Volume 1 of Young and Bitter Cult Heroes. Four stories of the inglorious rotten heroes and villains of the cult hero universe, exclusively for mobile devices. It's $10. You can get the whole, all four issues, all four short stories of cult heroes stories. So check out that on Kickstarter till November 1st. So, oh yeah, and um, yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, here's some that are coming to Kickstarter soon. Get Your Book Selling on Kickstarter, a definitive guide from uh, Russell Nolte, uh, who uh, I just backed a comic on his, a comic of his called um, Black Market Superhero, or Black Market Heroin, sorry. So yeah, this is this will teach you how to uh, make Kickstarters. Berserkers Solo Island is coming to Kickstarter again. Um, I've clicked the button to be notified on that one so that I can continue that story. 
Touching Evil number three is coming to Kickstarter, the hardcover. And uh, yeah, I'm loving Touching Evil. Can't wait to read the finale here. And uh, so click that to be notified on Kickstarter. Tell me about your Kickstarter campaigns. Let me know about them. I can talk about them. Um, if you want me to read your comics before that, I can do that too. But just send me the link and I will check it out. Maybe I'll even back it. So you never know what can happen. So send me your links. I'll talk about your Kickstarters, all that fun stuff. What have I been watching lately? Um, I've been watching Titans, but it's kind of so-so. And Kung Fu on HBO. Cobra Kai is still good. Why the Last Man Started. And there's a Doogie Howser show on the uh, Disney's that my wife and I enjoy. And uh, What If, obviously. What If's amazing. Can't get enough of that. As you can tell, I'm wearing a Kablam shirt right here. Kablam is who I print my comics through. I'm going to be, make it, be making an order to replenish all my comics because I actually I actually sold out of issue ones of Peter Pan the Vampire at Fan X so yeah that's crazy and now I gotta restock so check out Kablam on uh, Kablam.com Kablam Printing whatever IndiePlanet.com is also another cool site they uh, sell <clears throat> you can read Peter Pan the Vampire for free on IndiePlanet.com so that's been my show I'm done now and I'm going to push stop and wrap this up. Bye-bye.